welcome to Business Profitability, Create Your Live or Online Course. There's so many different ways that a course can help your business grow. Uh, you can use a course to attract new clients as a lead generator. You can use your course to give people the useful information that they need to know to make an informed decision. So this would be converting leads, people that come to you and want to know what you're about and what you offer. You, a course can also set you up as the expert in your field and it can help you leverage your time so that you're not repeating yourself with each client, but you can really con consolidate, condense your knowledge and information and get it out to your clients easier um, in groups or in different formats. Mm -hmm. It can also help you create automatic sales. So if you have your course created, you can then wrap it up into a funnel system or automatic sales system that makes it efficient both for you and for your client base. Or you can even use your blueprint of your course for a workshop or extend it into a retreat or even a book. So I'm glad that you're here. I'm excited to share this with you. Over the 14 years of doing business, I love sharing the tools and tips with how to leverage your time and how to thrive in your practice. So before you even create your course, it's really useful to get really clear about who are you talking to? Who is the profile of your ideal client? What are the problems that you help them solve? What's your ultimate topic? We'll go through each of these points a little more in depth. And then what's the purpose of your course? So you want to create kind of a checklist and you'll notice in the slide handouts, there's some notes there for you too. Um, and really dial this in. We're going to explore each of these points. So the first one, getting really clear about who you're talking to. What's your ideal client profile? And think about what's important to them. The more that you can dial this in, the easier it is going to be to talk to them or to give them the useful information that's good for where they are and what's important to them and to make it compelling for them as well. And you'll also be using that content or that information in getting your marketing out so that you can find the right people that are willing and ready and want to take what you your course and what you offer. So think about your profile of your ideal client Think about what's important to them. What stage of life are they in? What problems do they face? Um, what are the things that they keep them up at night? Do they keep thinking over and over? What are they looking for a solution for? And what are their habits, values, and interests? Think about what is it that they're going to be focusing on throughout their day? Where do they go? What activities do they do? What local media or what social media? So all of these are great points to keep in mind. And these questions really help you dial this in to identifying who is that ideal client, what problem you help them solve, and how is your course a fit for who they are and where they are in their life. The more you can dial this in, the easier so many more aspects of your marketing will go. As well as really creating your course and content for the people that need to hear what you offer. So one way to look at your ideal client profile is looking at who do you already work with. Uh, you can even take your top three clients, those clients that were just really engaged with the work, that were doing their homework, that were really connected with you. Pick your top three and then do a list under each of these uh, top clients and really identify what were their qualities and characteristics. Were they open-minded? Were they achievers? Were they um, wanting to solve a specific problem? And with these ideal clients, you can use those three profiles. What key problems did you help them solve? This is likely, hopefully in business, you're likely already have this dialed in. And what do you want to repeat uh, with clients? So what are the key problems that you solve? And also you can look at the content repeat with new clients. What do you hear yourself saying over and over? And then what do your clients need to know in order to work with you or take the next step with you? 
And then finally, what will the course do for your clients? And the more that you can outline these things, especially what will the course do for your clients? One, you want to keep that as the checklist of making sure that you're delivering what you offer, but also this becomes part of your marketing, how you get the word out and how you talk about your course so that the right people can find you, resonate with your copy and what you're saying and make the commitment to work with you. So now we're going into what's your ultimate topic? What are you gonna create this course about? Maybe you already have an idea or already have a topic that you want to flesh out into a course. If you don't already have a client base, I want you to consider these questions as they can really help you dial in and clarify your ultimate topic. So the first question, what are you passionate about? What had you already overcome or conquered? When you think about what you're passionate about, often what you're passionate about is also what you have already overcome or conquered. Often there's a lot of crossover between those two questions. But think about what gets you excited, what lights you up, what can you talk about for hours and not get tired of. Uh, maybe there's even certain topics that people have seen the excitement on your face so that you're lighting up when you're talking about that topic. So pay attention to those things. The next one, you might have a defined sense of your purpose, mission, and vision. And also in the Discover Design You course, I go into a little more in depth with that purpose, mission, and vision, as well as developed a hypnosis process to bring that awareness from your deeper layers of your mind to your conscious mind. Your unconscious mind already knows what that is, um, so it can help bring that forward. And then what topic could you speak a hundred times or more without tiring? So this is really useful. If you're building a course, if you're going to be marketing this, creating this um, in your community, in your environment, ideally it would be the same topic that you could go and speak in multiple different places to get this information out or get the word out about what you do and what you're offering. So think about what is it you are going to be excited to speak on again and again and again, because that's a, definitely a way that we market. And then the last one, what would you like to learn more about? Uh, so for any topic that you're going to pull together into expanded content, whether it's an online course or a book, at some point you're going to want to flesh it out with more research. So that means that you're going to be diving in and learning more about that topic. So that can also be an area to focus, is to recognize what areas do you want to learn more about. You can take a blank page and divide it into three parts. And at the top of those three parts, you know, holding it long ways, go ahead and write purpose under one. And your purpose often is also connected to what you've already overcome or learned or conquered in your life. And then another column for what are you passionate about? And another column for what would you like to learn more about? And as you're kind of writing out these three columns, start looking for crossover. Start looking for um, those reoccurring themes between those that brainstorm list. This is also a really great way to just brainstorm, especially I do this when picking a new title or a topic is to write out that title or the concept and there's many different words that you really like that describe that that concept so these are really great ways to dial this in um, so you may already have your ultimate topic which would be great especially if you've been in business for a while you might know about more of that client profile of who you want to connect with and how you want to help them move forward now the next question to really dial in is what will the course do for you? What will the course do for your business as well as what it's going to do for your clients? So you're going to use the content around what it's going to do for your clients for the marketing of your course to get the message out there. But what's it going to do for you? You're going to be investing time, energy, and money into setting up this course and quite possibly, um, you know, getting it available in different formats or different places. So your course, you want to start with the end in mind. 
what is the result that you want to see from your course? Um, and we call this a call to action, which is what is that next step after the course? So after people have gone through the course, maybe your course is one and done, people go through and then that's it. But there's really a way to monetize your course even after people have taken the course. So, right, so it's not just one and done, maybe it is, which is your model, but I want you to be thinking about after the course is done, what is the next step you want that person to take with you after the course. Maybe you have a group program, maybe there's another uh, class or retreat, or maybe there's something else after the course, private sessions. And then thinking also about where does this course fit into your sales process? So is it at the beginning that you're attracting uh, leads for this course? Or is it more near the end that it's part of a bigger training or certification program? And how does that fit into your process? So keep this in mind, but also really dial this in even before you get started, because it's going to make a big difference for you in the results that you get and what you're having your course do for you. What will the course do for you? I want you to get clear about this before you get started. What's the goal of your course? Are you attracting new clients? Is it the email opt-in where you sign in here and get the online you know, seven-day e-course? I have one set up at my Alighter U system. What will the course do for you? What's the goal of the course? Is it to attract new clients? So that's the email opt-in. People give you their email and then they get enrolled into maybe a short course. I, on my business side of things, and I have the braintrainerllc.com, if you go to forward slash business hyphen free, there is my opt-in for the train your brain for the marketing course. So that can give you, if you sign in there, it'll give you the 47 checklist strategies for marketing your business. And then it'll take you through about five to seven emails or ongoing uh, content of really understanding the mental blocks that get in our way of following through with our marketing or getting the word out about what we do. So you can check that out as an example as well. Um, maybe you want your course to help you convert leads easier. So I have several opt-ins where if you opt in, you'll get more information. And uh, there's a seven day e-course about change habits and cravings. And what I wanted to look at there was what is the content that people need to know um, to understand what it means to work with a hypnotherapist and an NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming Coach. So that goes through some of that content that I'm repeating with my clients over and over. So even by the time people come in for a session, there's a little bit of background information that they already have that I don't have to continue repeating myself. Or after the session, I can direct them to watch those videos and become educated on understanding the layers of the mind, the unconscious mind, and what it means to update these layers of ourself. A course definitely sets you up as an expert in your field. Uh, you can use it on your email tagline uh, at the bottom where you have information there. That can be a great way to uh, connect with people that you're networking with and sending those emails. And your course can also help you leverage your time. So instead of talking one-on-one, -on -one, now you can bring your people together that are all working on the same topic or wanting the same momentum in their life and leverage your time through this course. And then also you can use your course as part of creating your automatic funnel, your automatic sales system. So automatic money, who doesn't love automatic money, right? So that's a great way to have that feature added for your business as well. And then it can also become the blueprint for your workshop or for your retreat or even for your book. In fact, this is how I wrote. In fact, that's how I put together A Lighter You, Train Your Brain to Slim Your Body, the book. And we'll be talking about that a little more as I have another section talking about the timeline and the structure and strategy of that. So here, go ahead and pause the video and take that blank page and dial in. Before you get started, I want you to know what is your ideal client, what is your ultimate topic, and what is the course going to do for you? 
really dial that in. Take a blank notebook, write out all of these answers in the notebook or on blank pieces of paper. You can really dial this in. Now, one exercise that's very useful is to take that blank page, um, use it landscape wise, tuck it into three sections. At the top of those three sections, you're gonna do purpose. And so that's purpose, mission, and vision. In one, what you're passionate about and what you wanna learn more about. And under each of those three headers, go ahead and write as many things as you can think of under each of those three headers. And then with that, you're gonna look for those themes. You're gonna look and mix and match those themes. Or if you've been in business for a while, you probably likely already have your ideal client profile dialed in, which is great. So take the time to pause this video, dial this in. Before you get started, what do you need to have figured out to make sure that the time and energy you put into creating your course is really gonna pay you back? and really um, that you can monetize that in a way that's good for you and your business, as well as for the people that you're serving.